Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC and he has only built on that and become a champion one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Murrieta, California, Evo Wang. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Mimagomeda. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. is underway. Very compelling matchup for Bud fans around the world and going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get the fight to the ground? Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just misses with the straight right. Single collar tie now. 
Although you don't want to say Habib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Magomedov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Left hook landed on the button. Nice counter right hook there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Good jab. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Great posture control by his opponent. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Nermago Meta. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Got the single collar tie. Nice kick on land. And there's the single. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Two minutes on the round one clock. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Lands the ground and pound strike. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 90 seconds to go. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. And they both stand up. While the numbers continue to pile up here, 56 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. That was a okay. nice strike. Yet again, they will clinch here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice jab by Nermago Meta. Nice combination. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Huh. 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 All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last night. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes.
All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Oh, a single collar tie here. That's a big strike right there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into his strikes. Way to hide that leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He got the turtle in that kick. All right, set with collar tie now. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, a little single collar tie there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Immediately gets the underhook. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie. Reach back to side and try to find space. Oh, nice elbow. Big punch land in the middle. Oh, collar tie. And that one certainly found the target. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Nermago Meta. Oh, nice job to prevent the takedown and scramble to his feet. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Throwing that jab, no good. That's a beautiful punch. Lost that kick to the body. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Looking for the takedown, he gets it. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know no when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Back to the feet now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice. Just misses there with the left. Battle for position here. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Nermago Medoff. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Oh, and he caught the kick. And he continues to work the body here. Can't take too many of those big elbows. Nermago Medov gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches, foot is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Nermago Mel. All right, 
he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, buddy, take a seat. Breathe and relax. I need you to suck it up this time, okay? You're missing those takedowns because you're not setting them up. You can see them coming a mile. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, the action continues here and now as our Ready next start? round gets Ready? underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. Wow! Look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! 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 Continuing to work the body to great effect. We got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Big leg kick lands. Oh. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Back to their feet here. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Know when that leg kick's coming. Right hand punch from the clinch. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Nice kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Got the single collar tie. Great punch, man. So much power. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Punch over the top. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and he caught the kick. Great punch. Nice kick. Right hand into the pin. Nice kick. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hit the skate, DC. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Nurmagomedov's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Oh, single collar tie here. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Nurmagomedov gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh! He's hurt. Serve low. Go get him. Signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, he... Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. And they separate. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Left hand punch with the clinch. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Nermago Medov gets touched by that leg kick. Oh, he's out! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ewell right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.